In this video, I want to show you how to connect your iPhone to your next cloud with files, calendar, contacts, and your notes. So let's start. What you need is a Nextcloud instance, which is reachable from the internet with a correct HTTPS connection. You can also do this with local Nextcloud instances, but you have to ensure that your iPhone automatically accepts your HTTPS certificate. So I would say let's start. On my iPhone, I open up the App Store and we search for Nextcloud. Here we have it. I select download on my Nextcloud app and also I download the Nextcloud Notes app. For this example, you can also choose some more Nextcloud apps. It's up to you. After Nextcloud is installed, I select open. Would you like Nextcloud to send you notifications? I select allow in my case, but you can choose whatever you want. And then I tap on log in. Here I can enter a server address or I can scan a QR code. But where to find a QR code on my Nextcloud instance? In my web interface, I open up the settings from my user. Then on my settings, I select security. And here we can see devices and sessions. I create a new app, for example, iPhone and select create new app password. Here we see a username and also a password and then show QR code for mobile apps. I select this one and now you see which QR code we have to scan. So on my iPhone, I select the QR code button down there and then it is asked if Nextcloud can access the camera. I select allow and here I scan the QR code and um, on my iPhone, the Nextcloud closes immediately. But if I open up the Nextcloud again, we see this one is now connected and we can choose our files, we can share them or of course download them and edit them via our iPhone. That's very cool. But these are just our files. How can we add our contacts and calendars to our iPhone? We can select more on the right bottom corner and we can see our settings menu. Here we can, for example, also choose the auto upload feature. So if you take a photo, it's immediately uploaded to your next cloud, which I like very much. Or also you can choose down here, calendar and contacts, then download the configuration profile. This works for some instances for mine. It doesn't work. So I show you how to do it manually. I open up the settings app of my iPhone and scroll down a bit. Here we see contacts and calendar. At first I open up contacts and select accounts. In here I select add account and other. Here I can see we can add a contact card DAF account. So I select this one and here we can type in our server address. My Nextcloud instance is reachable under HTTPS cloud.ly-rde. So we have to type in, in this case, cloud.ly-rde. Now I can type in my username, just how I log into my Nextcloud and also the password for my Nextcloud user. After this, I can select next and it is verifying and if we have done everything right, the check marks come and our account is added. Perfect. This is now for contacts. I also can choose in my contacts the default account, for example, for cloud.lyrde. So any new contact will be automatically added to my Nexit account. And also I select calendar here and here we also see accounts. We see cloud.lyr.de here, but this is only for contacts. So we have to add another account. I select other and here we select the add Caldav account, not the Caldav account up here. We have to select Caldav account and here we do the same thing as before. So cloud.lyr.de and also our username and password. 
for the next cloud instance. I select next and then we are verifying it again. And if we have the everything right, this one appears, I select save and our account is added to our screen. We can also choose our default calendar here. For example, I choose now my personal from the cloud.liar.de and then we are finished and let's see if this one worked. I select calendar in here and perfect. Here we see some calendar entries from my next cloud. For example, this one we see personal. This is from my cloud.liar.de. Perfect. This one works. You can also choose under calendars here, which calendar you want to show and which you want to hide. I uh, hide my iCloud calendars and select done. And then we are finished here. Let's check our contacts again. I select contacts and here I just have one demo contact. I select all contacts and here we see, okay, my demo contact is here. This is Linux guides. <laughs> with my email and phone number. This one looks good, perfect. Also, our contacts are now synced. And this is everything to the files, contacts and calendar. And in the end, let's just have a look at our next cloud notes app. I select plus on the top left corner and select the account to add. This is in my case, Max and I select log in. A web browser opens up and now I can type in my password for my next cloud. After this, I click log in and then I tap on grant access. Perfect. This is also now done. And in the end, I can tap on this arrow here on the right top corner. And here we see our note entry, which is in this case also just a test. But yeah, you see, this works quite fine. Perfect. Now you have added also your notes on your iPhone, but this doesn't integrate with the note app at the time. Maybe this one comes in the future. That was it for today. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this video. And this is also the first video with an iPhone because I bought and used iPhone for such videos. So if you want to see more videos with the iPhone and open source software or Linux, just write it me into the comments and see you in the next one. Bye.